Hi, I'm Mathieu, CEO and co-founder of Nannybag, and I know, yeah, I, yes, I got a very strong French accent. In 2015, I went to New York, and I rented a flat. The problem was I was to leave the flat in the morning, but my flight was only at night, and I didn't know what to do with my luggage during the day, so I missed everything in New York. When I came back in France, I decided to analyze the luggage storage market, and I saw that, for example, in France, you got 3,300 train stations, only 16 with lockers, and only eight open. You have the same problem for most of the countries in Europe. Uh, you have the same problem with US and with Asia. So that's why we decided with my partner to launch Nanny Bag. We allow travelers to enter the luggage in local hotels, stores, and restaurants, so you can free enjoy your day. In the meantime, it allows nannies, so stores and hotels, to earn money by keeping luggage, so to monetize the free space, and to generate more traffic so they can make additional sales. The registration is completely free. So how it works exactly? For example, you want to store your luggage in front of Birds Van Berlage because you are here for the Focus Right event. So you want to store your luggage from today at 11, and you want to take a luggage bag, for, the, for example, at the end of the afternoon at 5. And you want to store two pieces of luggage is OK. So you click on search, you got all the location we have, for example, in Amsterdam. Hopefully, we got a location in front of the event. I did it this morning, actually. You can have the opening hours, uh, the service provided, and also the price detail. If it's OK for you, you can check also the review from old customer. Then you click on Book Now. You can add another luggage. Another person can retrieve your luggage. You got also the booking detail. And then you pay. In 30 seconds, you just booked a luggage storage on Nanny Bag. 40% of our customers use Nanny Bag before the check-in or after the check-out of their BNB. 20% before the check-in or after the check-out of the hotel. 30% because they're on transit between two trains, two planes, two flexbus, two blah blah car. And 10% because they cannot enter a museum, event, theater, or cinema. And in total, we got 15, um, 20, uh, 15 15% of business travelers. The business model is quite simple. The traveler pays six euros per luggage for 24 hours. It doesn't matter about the weight and the size. It's four euros per additional day. The revenue distribution is the following one, just 50-50 with each nanny. We did a lot of big partnership. Um, we just signed up two worldwide agreements. The first one with Jingjiang International, so the second biggest group in the world. Uh, they just bought Louvotel for France, for example, and Radisson for the US. And also a um, big partnership with Mailbox, so this is a UPS store company. And we work with Accor Hotel since the beginning. For the customer acquisition, we work with uh, airlines, with transportation company, concierge company, and we just signed up a contract with Amadeus because we are connecting our APIs to uh, the Amadeus one. Some KPIs, so we launched the company three years ago. Today, Nanibai is uh, available in 250 cities, mostly in Europe, US, a little bit Canada, and Montreal. And we kept 300,000 uh, bags since the beginning. So it's cool. We got um, good traction. We got a beautiful execution. Uh, we do better than any of our competitors without a big fundraising. But it's now 10 hours. Because the real question is, why are we better than the rest? And the answer is quite simple. First because travelers have a better experience with Nanny Bag. And then, because nannies prefer to collaborate with Nanny Bag. But why? Why do they prefer to, to work with us? It's simple. It's because we worked a lot on the brand value. And the brand value is really important in our activity, especially for the B2C. So why we, how we do this? First, because we got techno. We got mobile apps for travelers. We got mobile apps for nannies, so they can manage the business. And we developed our own back office, so we can checked all the variables, and everything we can measure can be improved, of course. And then we got the perfect onboarding process. So when we got to new nanny, we just click on a button, then another company prepare a welcome pack and send the welcome pack to all the nanny we have in the world. On this welcome pack, you got security seal for the luggage, you got a stickers for the window, and you got a nanny guide. Then we got a 24-7 customer support, which is really important also for our business, and we develop our own bot, so we can manage 50% of the uh, question automatically, so we don't have a problem to scale with the support. Then we got seals on each luggage uh, that we keep, and on each seal, we allow travelers to sponsor a new nanny. Yeah, we allow our uh, travelers community to help us to develop our network. And then we got the best team, with my partner, we work together. He's got 15 years um, in uh, IT development, and we could and we can, with Nanny Bag, hire the best profile. So we got, for example, a Chinese woman from Yale developing Asia, uh, someone from Harvard for the US, and HEC Paris uh, to develop the European market. So that's why today, definitely, Nanny Bag makes a difference. Thanks. 
Cheers. In the lion's den? Yeah, so, I mean, I'll just jump the queue here. Um, <laughs> I, I wasn't believing in it until I saw that you have 1.6 million in revenue, which is impressive. Um, talk me through your customer acquisition. Is it all indirect through partnerships? Just talk me through that. Um, customer acquisition for the online part, we got 80% of SEO, 15% of SEA with a CPU at two euro because it's only, um, we are focused on return on investment for each investment and 5% of affiliation we use CJ from Conversant. And now we start with APIs because it's definitely the solution and I'm pretty sure that's um, the future of the acquisition. What are your liabilities in terms of security? In terms of security, we didn't have a core start actually. When someone makes a reservation, we have the name, first name, <coughs> email, identity card, uh, identity, uh, identity. When he drops the luggage, the nanny has to ask him first the reservation and the identity card. The nanny has the right to make a visual check. It's an obligation to work with hotel chain. And after, for the travelers, we put security seal and we insert each trans transaction with AXA uh, for each luggage. Uh, and we did um, the general term and condition with the French prefecture um, to, be, to correspond to the Vigipirate plan. So it's strong. We talked through the connecting new nannies. What, what the, how, how, you, how you get one signed up and um, what's in it for them? What, what, what's the typical profile of a, of a nanny? Um, we got 30% of hotels first. So yes, they can monetize the free space and uh, generate more traffic. They can sell coffee, et cetera. For stores, we got anything, everything. We can have grocery shops, souvenir shop, bike rental shop, um, all these kind of shop. We, we do like really, really, uh, real packs, really uh, transactions. So we got any kind of, uh, of stores today. Uh, but yeah, we got some stores more interesting than others because they got good opening hours, for example, a UPS store for US or bike rental uh, for Amsterdam, for this kind of shop. Got but what, what's your cost to sign up a new nanny? Is that on foot or telephone? But acquisition cost for a new nanny is roughly. Uh, if we take all the, it depends on the um, ways that we, we make the acquisition. But the average is around 40 euro today. 40. 40 euro per, per nanny. nanny. Okay. So if you divide by six, you know um, in how many transactions we can, uh, uh, how many luggage we can uh, make this nanny profitable. Mm -hmm. I like the idea, and actually I used, it uh, wasn't you guys, but I used a service very similar uh, when we were in Rome um, the other month. And from a customer standpoint, I think it all comes down to, so there's a lot of other competitors in the space, price and location. You know, are you covering a city well and, and, and uh, the location and that price? So talk about that in terms of competitive advantage, maybe over the customer su support and some of the other items you mentioned. Yeah, definitely travelers are looking for a location. Yeah. So we need to have many locations in each city. Um, secondly, we need to have opening hours, so the best coverage, which is really important. That's why we are working with hotels, because it's open 24-7. So we can respond to anyone. And then you need to have the better UX, as a better customer support, which is very important, and everything needs to be automated for, for, for the travelers. So that's why we are making the difference today. That's why nannies prefer to collaborate with Nannybag and travelers to repeat in Nannybag. Great. Oh, thank you very much, Arthur. Thanks a lot. Matthew, well done.